Alright guys, welcome back to the object detection terminologies. For some time now, we have looked at a number of terminologies in uh, object detection uh, papers or object detection systems. Now, those terminologies are beginning to build up now because in discussing further terminologies, we will start making reference to the earlier discussed terminologies. So if you have not uh, had a good grasp of some of the existing terminologies that will be used here, I highly recommend that you go to the previous um, uh, tutorials on those terminologies. That will help to understand what's happening here. So the Region Proposal Network has one specific task and the task is to predict whether an anchor box contains an object or is only a background. In the previous video, we told us that an anchor box is responsible to predict objects in a particular cell. So, the way the region proposal works is this. You choose a sliding window. Generally, it will be a small sliding window. And uh, that's an hyperparameters. You can decide what your sliding window uh, size will be. Then you slide that window across the future map. Essentially, you know that when you have an input image, you feed into a set of convolutional neural network layers. After your convolutional neural network layers, no matter, let's say you have 15 layers or 20 layers, after that number of layers, the last output is a feature map, which is also referred to as the activation map. So, it is that feature map that you will now slide your window across. And what you are trying to do is, for every sliding window center, that is the center of your, in this case, let's say three by three, you create a fixed anchor boxes. So this is done during training. You create a fixed anchor boxes. Uh, in this case, we call it K. So K is an hyperparameter that you choose. As we see in literature, in the papers, how the K is chosen. So you choose K, let's say five or three anchor boxes. Now, you now classify those boxes as containing an object or not. All right, because your anchor box can just have background that's not of interest, or it might have an object that is of interest to us. So in that sliding window center, the anchor boxes that are created, you classify those anchor boxes as containing an object or not. So let's see it visually. This is a convolutional feature map that you see here in this place. So you now take your sliding window that you slide, a small window, you slide around. So let's say here now, in this sliding window, you create a fixed number of anchor boxes. So K anchor boxes. 
so during training we choose the anchor box with the greatest intercession over union we've done a video on this you may want to look at that with the grand truth so we have a grand truth which is actually a box around our object of interest so in order to be able to do back propagation that is to measure how far is our prediction from the grand truth we use the biggest iou with the grand truth and with the grand truth boundary box and that is what we do to back propagate into the network to be able to optimize our weights so that the network can learn to actually predict the correct banding box for each of the objects in a sliding window and there's a lot there but uh, as we go on further in the papers these things will begin to form uh, a better understanding the summary is each the region proposal network works by creating a set of anchor boxes anchor boxes are responsible for dictating multiple objects in a particular cell that's just the take home there all right thank you for listening and uh, Hopefully somebody will have benefited from this and do let us know what your comments are and uh, please give us a like if you find this uh, resourceful. Thank you and see you in the next one.